out. I'm not sure what this low tide is going to look like. But I have a spot down there I want to check out. Hopefully I can do a little bit of digging. Well, I knew I was going to find one. And I think that has a date of 1800-something on it. Chatham, New York, maybe? John something? I mean, it's beat up. There's no lip to it. The bottom's broken off. But it's going to be worth bringing it home and cleaning it up to see what the embossing is. And date this thing. Because I have a feeling it goes way, way back. And that might be the only one today. I saw something peeking out inside this tube, and sure enough, it's an old whiskey. And what I'm looking at, I believe, is a Three Feathers, which I found a wine bottle by this company a long time ago. And I've got a nice big old whiskey flask, one pint. It's funny how many times my eyes looked over this piece thinking it was a stick. And that, I believe, is a cannon. Maybe a desktop cannon, lead cannon, toy cannon. My brother found one of these not long ago. A seagull just flew right by my ear. And um, it was a smaller version, but exactly the same. It's got some history to it. Well, between that cannon and this little belt loop buckle you can see the pin is still there you're going to want to stick around this area and do some pretty pretty precise digging there's some history here yo yeah. trouble all right so it took me about five minutes to retrieve this stupid thing but it was worth it it's a very cool old buckle pretty ornate Try and flip it without dumping it back in the water again. Yep, although this one was jumping around on me, it was worth the search. Great old buffalo nickel. Let me turn it over. Yep, I got my stupid gloves on today because it's so cold. Well, there's quite a different look here today with ice everywhere. But we are slowly starting to warm up. And we had a lot of tide movement again through here. So I'm gonna be bending and searching a lot today, even around the ice. As you can see, all the color coming out. And a decent wash. Well, I've said I like tiny things. Can you see it? Just sitting on the ledge there. I don't know, that might be the tiniest button I've ever seen. But it's just cool enough to take. There's something sitting over here, white. No, it's just a plastic piece. I like the wash here. I like stuff sticking out. That it's just been pulled up, but I don't see anything else right now besides a lot of broken glass. That well, might be a button day. You gotta check out everywhere. I wasn't gonna look on top of this piece. 
of mud here, this hill. And then look what's sitting right here. You just got washed out, didn't you? Almost feels like it's a rubber gun. You got any other friends up here? Frozen in the mud. I'm not frozen enough. I'm not sure what that is. I gotta get my scraper out. Hmm. Well, I saw right away this is gonna be a great scoop. And not initially because I saw that marble. That is a bonus marble. Look at that. Okay, this may very well be the last marble of 2022. Hopefully not. But as you can see, there are a few more scattered things. Let me get this in my special pouch. First came out of a pretty cool bottle with like the sunburst in the bottom. That's going to be hard to leave behind. It's a very cool uranium glass piece. And another topper. Look at that thing. Obviously nothing's intact. But those are two hard pieces to leave behind. So I'm going to take them with me. Especially you. Well, as my hands are getting colder and colder, even with these gloves on, it's getting harder and harder to, look at this thing, harder and harder to film. I'm not really sure what that is. It sure looks interesting enough though. Well, I can't identify that yet. But being a round-shaped coin with a square center, it looks a lot like the Japanese or Chinese cash tokens. It'd be nice to clean that up when I get it home, see if there's anything on there. I think I'm picking up a little bit of design. That's a good size one, too. Let's hope there's something on there. Well, it's not often I hunt at night, but it's only six o'clock right now, and it's pitch black out. And I know we had a good wash here the last couple of weeks, and there's a super low tide. 
We don't quite have the same shelf that we had a week ago. The ground's kind of heavy and frozen. Not sure how the digging's going to be up top, but where the water is, it should be better. But look at this. We're going to layer snow here. Just odd because it didn't snow by my house, which I just walked 50 feet from. But the tide is way out. Let's see if I can get you to see the cityscape without my headlamp. Now that's not a fishing weight, so that is a big musket ball. So it's telling me I got some good history right here. Yeah, it's happened before after some big storms on real calm days. Really we get a lot of coloration. <laughs> you got a boat out there. Doesn't seem to be moving though. Might be worthy of a picture. Ooh, I think I see a truck down there moving sand. Oh, I might have to walk down there. What's that? What'd you say? It's pretty nice. It's nice, oh. nice water. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. That's an interesting little piece. Off a necklace or a bracelet. Well, it's not low tide, but it's about 56 degrees out. It's absolutely gorgeous. And probably other than one fisherman out here, I'm gonna have the whole place to myself. It's a basic beach by my house. It's a bay beach. You see the tide is really calm. Let's see if the storm brewed anything up here. There's a few people out here. I like the wood coming in. I just picked up two surface quarters where all this windblown sand is. And here's another surface coin. It's an older penny. It's a memorial, but probably goes back to the set. Yep, 1979. So I'm gonna scan here and see if there's anything else sitting on top. Look at this poor guy. <laughs> snap. I believe it says Pioneer on it. Strange, another piece just came up and has some writing on it. Piranha. 